we have to realize a few things. Number one, it's not a gift. To be a priest is not a gift. And I'll explain what I mean by that. There are many uh, things in the New Testament uh, that are mentioned as gifts. So, for example, there are gifts of teaching, gifts of healing, gifts of prophesying, you know, gifts of wisdom, gifts of helps, gifts of administration. These things are all called gifts. That means that God gives them to some people, but not everyone has those gifts. They are uh, the, the Lord gives to each member of his body as he pleases. So when I look at David in the Vow City, you know what? God has given you something. Isn't that marvelous? And David, when you look at me, you should say, you know, God has given Mark something. And we should look at each other and we should feel like, oh, but, you know, the gifts that God has given us are different. And that's actually a wonderful thing to realize that the Lord gives according to his good pleasure. And he gives uh, to, the, to the members of the body, he distributes gifts. So there are gifts like what I just mentioned. Then there are, there are also people who are gifts in the New Testament. For example, apostles, prophets, uh, teachers and shepherds, evangelists. These are all called gifts that God gives to his body. Uh, let me ask you, brothers in Davao City, in the church in Davao City, in the meeting hall, are you all apostles? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very good. So you have to say, I am not an apostle gift. At least not no. yet. Not yet. You know, maybe. Who knows? I see one, two, three, four, five brothers on the screen. There may be more of you there. Who knows? Maybe there's five apostles to be. But at least not yet. Right? Not yet. You would say you're not apostles yeah, yet. Uh, <laughs> oh no 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 you know when you point fingers at someone do you know what there's also three fingers pointed back at you <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know so there are people who the lord gives to his body as gifts and not all are apostles not all are prophets, not all are evangelists, not all are shepherds and teachers. You know, if this verse was talking about being apostles or being shepherds or being teachers in that way, I would say we have to talk about gifts. <laughs> but this verse is telling us who we all are. It is not a gift to be a priest. Because it's not only some people who have it. It's every single believer, every single person who has the Lord is a priest and part of this royal priesthood. It says you are a royal priesthood. It's who you are. You don't need a gift to be a priest. <laughs> There's no priesting gift. There's no uh, you know, special thing that the Lord gives only some people to be a priest. Brother Shim, you know who you are? You're a priest. That's what this verse says. Brothers in Davao City, you know who you are? You're a priest. It's what this verse says. Uh, to the saints in the church in Panabo, I can see some of you sitting there. I wish I could see you closer. You know who you all are? You have to say, the Bible says, I am a royal priest. I'm part of a royal priesthood. And we could go one by one by one by one through all of the screens. And I could just ask you to read this verse and tell me, who are you? You would have to say, I'm part of a chosen race. I'm part of a royal priesthood. I'm part of a holy nation. I'm part of a people for his own possession. It's not a gift. It's not a special thing that only some people have but you are all part of the royal priesthood. It's who you are. David, when I look at you, you know what I see? I see a priest. <laughs> and you may say, hey, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> but this is just what, this is who we are as believers in Christ. This is what the Lord desires. He desires that all of his people would be priests to God. 
and it's who he made us to be. So there are many Christians who think that to be a priest is a special calling or a special gift or it's a special ability. We all may look at Brother Shim and we may say, wow, that brother is a priest. He has, the Lord called him in a special way. You know, many of us may think like that, but we need to learn to change our way of thinking. It's not just Brother Shim who is a priest. You know who's a priest? You! <laughs> you are a priest. It's not a special gift only given to some. It's almost like saying, uh, it, it, that would be like saying it's a gift to be a human being. Uh, of course, I mean, you have to understand what I'm saying in the right way. Uh, it is a gift to be a human being, but it's a gift that we all share. <laughs> like no one says, I have a special gift to be a human being. I don't know if, I don't know, do, do Filipinos say things like that? I don't think they do. People here in the U.S. don't say things like that. There's no special gift to be a human being because all of us, that's who we are. We're all part of the human race. And in the same way, all of us are part of God's chosen race, and all of us are part of the royal priesthood. So those of you, I see some of you, um, you know, are together with other saints. You know what you should do? You should turn to each other right now, and you should say, hello, uh, brother priest, or hello, sister priest. <laughs> Yeah, you should turn to each other and uh, say, wow, brother priest, I had no idea you were so priestly. Or wow, sister priest, I had no idea you were so priestly. <laughs> and those of us, those of us who are just by ourselves on our screen, wow, what a, what a loss. We don't have a saint to turn to, but we can all look at each other and you can point your finger at each other and you can say, wow, hello, brother priest. Hello, Sister Priest. Wow. <laughs> you can say, I had no idea I was on a Zoom call with so many priests. I see like 58 participants in the Zoom call right now. And uh, I don't know, some of these screens have multiple saints on them. Who knows? Maybe there's 70 people, 70 saints in this call right now. Maybe 80, maybe 90 saints. You know how many priests there are in this call? 70, 80, or 90. It's however many of us are in this call. That's how many priests are here right now. <laughs> because the Bible says so clearly, you are a royal priesthood. You don't need to pray to God to make you a priest. You don't need to pray to God to give you the special ability of priesting. You just are. You are a priest. So you have to say, wow, praise the Lord. Maybe some of you knew this before this call tonight. Maybe some of you never even thought about this before this call tonight. You, if you've never thought about this before, you have to say, wow, praise the Lord. I had no idea who I was. I had no idea that God had made me such a special person. I had no idea that this is who I was. I'm a, what am I? I'm part of a chosen race. I'm part of a holy nation. I'm part of a people that belongs to God. Even more, I'm part of a royal priesthood. I know that you all are on mute. Can you just, can we all say that together? Don't unmute. Just say it on your screen. I'm part of a royal priesthood. <laughs> I'm part of a royal priesthood. Amen. Amen. I'm part of a royal priesthood. Amen. I'm impressed. Yeah. Hey, Church in Panabo, can you all say together, I'm part of a royal priesthood? I'm part of the royal priesthood. Amen. Together. <laughs> Amen. How about how about the church in uh, Pan Pangantukan? You guys sang so sweetly to us yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you say I'm part we of the royal priesthood? Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are part of the royal priesthood. Amen. 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 <laughs> Yeah. And we may all say, of course, Brother Vince is part of the royal priesthood. And then we have to realize, not just Brother Vince, it's you. <laughs> you <Yeah>. also <laughs> are part of the royal priesthood. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, brothers in Davao City.